Hello my friends, we have done a lot of serious videos of unboxing and sent channels and audio stuff but today we are gonna do something really cool and interesting. We're gonna jump into the land of artificial intelligence. Yes my friends, I have created tons of speakers and home theater elements with artificial intelligence and here are a few examples look at these as an av receiver so let's go over all these designs one after the other and i would love to hear your thoughts and if you have any special requests if you want me to create a speaker for example in the shape of a mango just let me know and i will work on it please put your comments in the comment section on what you think about these designs so let's get started so friends, this first is a center channel speaker, a huge one. This has two drivers and it has a mid-range and the mid-range is also comprised of two drivers and then there's a little tweeter here. Very wide and looks very capable and a nice looking center channel. Again, I incorporated this into a nice scenery. So this is also very nice looking in terms of where it is placed on a nice little table so let's go over to the next one very similar but in this case the tweeter kind of blends in with the two speakers here in the center kind of eats up a little bit of space but that definitely adds some more character and special look to this design all right now on to the bigger versions of the speakers these are some huge floor standing speakers and look at this they are slim because they are kind of a little bit of a modern contemporary design but the floor standing speakers are also supposed to be stable so they have these wide feet and they are gonna play the sound pretty well because these are not small by any means they're all the way up to the ceiling look at those so that is again my imagination not probably something we would do in real life but hey let's have some fun and and see what we can do with artificial intelligence this is another design some of these speakers are incorporated inside the wall so very good ideas for speakers and uh, home theater placement so i really like how everything is embedded in the wall so the walls could have been a little bit wider but and the seating is not proportionate for a home theater but Overall, you get the idea that the speaker is going to blend in with the rest of the room. And now, folks, this is a little bit of a classic design, I would say. Look at those very capable, nice looking floor standing speakers for your left and right. And these can be used for your surrounds. They have this little light, LED lights on the edges. That is really cool. I think that should be something that these speaker companies might be able to incorporate because hey we are in the period of leds everyone lights up around their tv and whatnot with leds and why not add a little bit of low powered led lighting around these speakers that would really make them pop a little bit and yeah i really like these speaker designs especially because when i created them i made sure i add those little accent lights there these are also pretty big designs here on the left and the right. You can see that these are the main speakers. I also embedded these speakers in the wall, a couple of them on either side. So if the seats are here, the left and the right are covered, uh, they surround left and right, and then the left and right would be these main, and the center can be that huge piece of speaker elements here. So that is something that will sound pretty loud and amazing, I'm assuming. All right, this is just a typical home theater setup. Look at that very nice TV screen with that subtle background design here. Width is perfect for this room. Seating is perfect. People can have coffee and play cards and whatnot and watch a nice TV in the background. So this is more of a home theater design that I really liked. And the ceiling is kind of dark color and all these dark colors are good. For your home theater they, they don't just reflect a lot of light when you're watching a movie again i love some of these speaker incorporated in the walls you can probably put a flower vase here or some other pieces of art here in these cabinets and some of these speakers they blend in here so that is also something that i love to imagine so the speakers are not just laying around in every part of the room so 
I think if you consider building your home theater, you should make sure that the speakers don't just obstruct uh, the walking or, or the path of people going in and out of the room and stuff. So try to hide the speakers, but also make them effective. So good job AI in creating this design for me. And here, look at this design. So once again, where some of these speakers are in the cabinet, but this is focused more on the screen itself. See how well the cabinets are built and this is a fairly large size screen. However, in future, if Samsung or LG or other companies start giving away 110 inch or 150 inch or big huge TVs that are humongous, then these custom built cabinets are not gonna fit those. But I think this room, the floor, the ceiling, the walls, the TV, the dark versus the wood, everything just blends beautifully. So very cool design. And this is my concept of an AV receiver with a Bob Ross kind of painting design in the background. I just love where this is on top of a stone wall here and the receiver has this big knob. I have one of these receivers. They are the Yamaha TSR 700. So that is where I got that big knob from. So I think that pretty much resembles my Yamaha receiver for the most part. Although, yeah, that receiver is one side heavy. But this is a concept that I really like uh, this big knob here. Also, I, although I would have liked another smaller knob here. But I think that receiver looks really nice. Now, this is a coffee table but well it could also be a huge center channel speaker look at that the mid-range and those huge left and right dual drivers these are probably going to be like 12 inch drivers and then the mid-range is probably going to be like seven inches that is bigger than most center channel speakers or that's like two or three center channel speakers so this if sits as the centerpiece of your home theater and the tv can be placed on top of this I think that is really cool as well. All right, so friends, this one is a subwoofer that I asked AI to create. Look at that quality. This is rosewood and it has a gold tweeter in between. So this is a great looking driver. It is ported. Let me show you some more images. So another variation of this is this subwoofer it is sitting on a flat surface it has these bumpers this is also made with rosewood and let me tell you these are not real images these are my imagination transformed into speakers and home theater elements so this is all my imagination that ai has converted into images again this is gold color here and i asked it to create the tweeter with gold so that's what you're seeing here and then the finish or or it is made of solid rosewood i wish we had a subwoofer like this it pretty much will sound amazing let's go over to the next variation again this is also another very good looking variation of the subwoofer it even has this wood texture here very good looking speaker i'm sure this will sound amazing as well rosewood with again the gold design and it has some solid construction here. This uh, driver is made of glass fiber. Yet another variation and look at this. This is hand carved. It is also sitting on a glossy wooden finish and also rosewood. It has some character here. It has a retro look. See, it has some dings and a little bit of imperfections here but that gives it like a rugged look so looks really amazing guys so let's move on to the next one i wanted to get a little bit more creative so here i have a subwoofer in a watermelon so this is realistically not something that we would do but if somebody wanted a big huge huge subwoofer this is what it would look like if we designed it in the form of a watermelon. If you like this one or if you have any thoughts on this one or any other 
of the images that I'm going through, please leave some comments because this is supposed to be fun for us. So let's have some fun here. Let's go over to the next image. Another variation of a watermelon subwoofer, a huge driver here and the watermelon was cut and the subwoofer was or the driver was placed into this watermelon. So very creative, but I don't know how this would sound. Well, Halloween, so we definitely have to have a subwoofer in a pumpkin for Halloween time whenever it comes, right? So look at this design. It has this black patches or, or imperfections here, and that gives it a very solid look. And the bottom is, has this orange color as if light is shining on the bottom side. So very cool looking, I think. If, if we had a subwoofer like this, it would definitely be uh, an eye catcher. So I really like this pumpkin design as well. Let me show you a few variations of this. Okay, so this, well, I thought why just have pumpkins and watermelons. This is a jackfruit, although I don't think this is exactly what a jackfruit looks like. But regardless, the shape is pretty good. It is huge and very similar to some of the other images we saw very creative here and i just don't like in this particular image it just looks like leather or plastic or something it doesn't look like a good construction of the driver material though looks like it is like a stitch or something so not that realistic looking in terms of audio let's move on to the next one well i asked ai to create image i gave it a lot of instructions and finally it came out with this one it is in the outdoors and looks like they made it waterproof or something because this kind of looks like it is gonna repel some water and moisture so pretty much an outdoor subwoofer and integrates into the rest of these banana trees and coconut trees and whatnot so again it fits perfectly for where it is placed Okay, this one is in a grocery store. More or less, this looks like a gimmick plastic version of a huge subwoofer embedded in a jackfruit and then just placed on top of mud or something. So this is not real at all. I was trying to create something more realistic, but this did not turn out to be a good one. But regardless, it's, it's a nice toy, big size toy subwoofer, so. I don't think this any way resembles a realistic version of a subwoofer. So we can pretty much ignore this one. Uh, now, this is a little bit more fun. Again, a smaller version of the jackfruit and a smaller driver. But look at this. They did not use screws here. It looks like an insect is sitting there or something. I don't know what that is. If you have any thoughts, please comment in the comment section. What are these? And I thought it would put screws in there, but looks like it is some kind of thorn or something that helps the driver be attached to the main jackfruit or little jackfruit that they have here. But again, looks really cool. The driver material looks really solid here and it has these fine shadows that gives the orange color a pop. So definitely a good looking version of a speaker. This is a little bit of an artwork. Again, uh, another version of the jackfruit, but with, with some leaves and stuff. And it has this enclosure around the driver that kind of separates the jackfruit from the main driver here. So it looks pretty neat here. And looks like the driver material. See, this looks like glass fiber. And this kind of looks like a silk dome or something. So definitely good looking here. I'm sure this would sound pretty decent, decent, although not like a solid box, but it would just sound okay if we were to create something like this. Now on to some little bit of fun stuff. Look at this finish. This is solid wood and solid wood is something that will have some imperfections and that you can see on the uh, peripheral side of the speakers here so very creative and it has these grains of the wood look at that that looks really cool and again this is not a subwoofer but this can be used as a left and a right 
uh, for your home theater. So I think this is really cool. Although, well, this can be a little Twitter. I have no idea what this little hole came about. So maybe it's just a part of the design, but I was not intending to create these two holes here in the world. But that is what it came out as. Let's see a few variations of that. This one I asked and I wanted to create something that resembled an apple. So there is the main driver, there's the tweeter. This looks really cool. Look at that. It has the apple leaf and a little bit of the stem here. And the, yeah, this really resembles, although it is a little bit taller than a regular apple. Uh, a regular apple would just probably finish right here. But because it incorporated this tweeter as well, it kind of is taller than a normal apple but even so very cool design here and if this were a speaker definitely will add some artistic look to your home theater this is my favorite look at that that is the center channel although see this center channel only has one driver i would have loved for it to have a tweeter and maybe a mid-range i don't know where it would be incorporated but I mean, this is really a nice texture. I'll probably revise this. Uh, just let me know in the comment section if you want to see more variations of this. I would love to hear your comments and we can have some more fun and play around with these and create more variations. And look at the left and right. Uh, it, it really blends with what we have here as the main center speaker here. Although, I mean, this would not really sound good if this were a center channel speaker, but it is better looking and this will definitely be something that will add an artistic look. So I really like this texture. Although this has kind of a leathered texture. This is smooth wooden finish. So it doesn't really match 100%, but regardless, it looks pretty cool. My favorite is one of my favorites. Uh, the next one, look at that finish. So that has some imperfections. There is a crack here in the wood. Well, which happens when you make things with wood, but this looks like it is hand carved. There are a couple of nails or something here. And e even the side speakers, they have some imperfections. It looks like some uh, wood uh, holes and screws or, or some imperfections here but the finish and grain looks really nice on the, these speakers as well so definitely good looking however i don't know why they are suspended in the air there's like a gap here maybe it is supposed to be screwed onto the walls but yeah overall very cool looking design so ai is amazing it's generating some amazing speakers well, I wanted to go a little bit more creative and do the impossible. So I created some speakers with leaves. So look at this. These are just leaves, although this is like a carpet version of leaves. Uh, it's basically like little grass carpet or, or sod. Uh, and as you can see, the left and right speakers, they kind of are symmetrical. They have these unique designs and looks like pretty big drivers those are huge speakers they're like floor standing speakers that are gonna really pack a punch the tv kind of looks small when you put into perspective the speakers and, and the screen in between and behind as you can see it is a nice scenic beach or, or a sky or something here so i basically wanted to add some kind of a scenery behind the uh, home theater this is another variation, a huge speaker here with incorporated leaves and a screen in between. Just trying to be creative. And again, this is also an impossible design, but if this were created, look at that. That really looks cool. That will be like something that could be put in a zoo or something. So really cool design that would just blend with a rain for a zoo or, or something that is green. Okay. This is a little bit of jungle type. So all kinds of leaves. This would be like a home theater that belongs to the people of the jungle and covered in leaves. And there's a little screen here that has all kinds of inputs or what are these? Yeah, these are imperfections again, or little terminals or inputs, but the screen is pretty good. 
and it is surrounded by carefully packed leaves. I think this would sound really good as well because two good size floors standing left and right with a reasonably large screen in between and if this has wheels this can move around on this nice laminate floor next up this is a lot of speakers or a lot of retro design going on so first of all the walls they are kind of carpet they have these lights in the cabinet that fits perfectly a big size tv probably a 55 inch and then look at the left and the right they are like beaten up here they have all kinds of imperfections and all kind i just moved to the other one i shouldn't have sorry let me get back to this one so it has these imperfections i say imperfections because that adds a lot of character to these speakers if they were just so perfect then it would really not look that great but look at that that is a cool looking left and right and the center channel this is the most extravagant center channel that i have seen with the ai because look at that all these drivers it has one two three four four dedicated drivers for the low frequencies and a mid-range here and it has all kinds of tweeters here and it has some more little tweeters here so it is a very comprehensive design that will cover all the bases it'll have a very good crossover so all the speakers take the appropriate load but very cool looking home theater this is very retro this would be like from the world war time or something so very very nice looking and old stuff as long as it works it should sound pretty good i asked the incorporation of aircraft into speakers so i wanted to create speakers with aircraft parts and that is what you're seeing here now this kind of looks like the panel on an aircraft with a lot of buttons and a lot of bluish black color and you know so so that is what you're seeing here mostly looks like an aircraft dashboard and it also had this finish on the left and right speakers mostly leather and even the drivers they have some kind of aircraft screws and aircraft metal type design on it i think very cool design so we have all these variations on our speaker designs here look at that we even incorporated aircraft parts into our center channel and home theater speaker system that's really cool thank you ai for making this possible really very imaginary but cool looking designs okay this is a little bit more traditional uh design uh but there are a lot of drivers you look at this one two three four five and then it also has a little one here again and the center channel and the receiver they're incorporated here they have all kinds of lights and stuff so i don't think this center channel will perform very well but the left and the right all incorporated into the cabinet with a lot of cabinet space here to put your dvds and books or whatnot can be incorporated into these cabinets and the screen later on if you want to upgrade to a 95 inch or 85 inch or a bigger screen it might just fit here although this just looks like a wide screen uh, television let's move on to the next one here another variation of that so this time the left and the right they are a little bit smaller drivers but for some reason the center channel speaker has been given a lot of importance or maybe this is not a real center channel maybe it is just split into left and right so one two these three would probably take up the left these three would take up the right i i don't really have a preference here but look at the overall looks of this design people are gonna look at this home theater and be amazed at these speakers sitting in these cabinets and then looking really really cool and of course there is a receiver here there are some electronic devices under the tv but the lighting and everything makes it look really nice yet another variation the left and the right the center is very very capable here so very very cool design also custom built looks like very 
custom design built with solid thick wood or, or some solid kind of material here not your veneer and stuff that they use on top of some junk wood so i wish we were able to make this kind of cool looking designs yet another variation and this time look at the drivers here huge they're huge and even the screen is really nice and is that niagara falls i don't know that's a very beautiful waterfall um but speaking of this uh of the design of the speakers well just four huge drivers those looks like four subwoofers but that is not how a home theater should be set up but we will definitely give credit to the design so this is a dedicated huge center channel speaker made of solid solid wood so i am very impressed with this construction look at the thickness of that cabinet this is an inch inch and a half thick and it really looks very very cool and if you have any name that you can suggest for these speakers please put them in the comment section and i will try to number these speakers so you can call them some fancy name like this one can be called as the solid rock center channel speaker because this looks really really solid well this one is altogether a little screen or a little tv that you can put in here but the sound system looks very very capable your tv will be here a little television here but look at the center channel speaker boom very very nice looking center channel design even the left and right although the colors don't match the colors of the center channel are light color and this looks more like of a darker shade of wood but i'll still keep this because this is a complete left right center design although i would in a real life scenario i would push this way to the left and right and suspend the center channel on top of your screen so the screen can be made much bigger because we need to watch movies on a very big screen as much big screen as possible all right now on to something more creative i wanted to create a left right center all in one so what could happen is you could put your screen on top of this so the center is in a corner although well how is the corner gonna incorporate the speaker this is kind of a perspective view so you won't be able to see what exactly is happening here but the center speaker it comes out a little bit and that is why it is able to stay in this slot on the corner and the left and the right they are slightly angled towards the left and the right so there should not be a, a great sounding effect with this because actually you want all the speakers to face the viewer or the listener these speakers are not doing that but from a design perspective really something that looks cool like it, this speaker wanted to be a subwoofer but it never made it so it thought okay in that case i'm just going to become a center channel speaker so this is what happens when you assign the task of building a speaker to somebody who has no idea about speaker they were supposed to build a subwoofer and they accidentally built a center channel in that cabinet oops all right this is another center channel speaker that <laughs> That is really a, a nice design as well. So all in one, a big block of all these speakers sounds like or looks like this is going to be very capable. Again, there is some cut here. It looks like this piece was retrofitted into uh, a cabinet or something. This does not look like it was built from solid available wood. Looks like somebody took a cabinet and slapped in some speakers into this. I love this one too. Look at this. There is your receiver and receiver is in the shape of a three sided shape here. And uh, I don't know what's behind it. So I don't want to call this a polygon or anything, but looks like this is three sides with the center here facing the user with a lot of information on the display and the two main drivers again looking or facing uh, the listener and left and right they decided to just angle somewhere else so well in in a public area this might be something that would be really cool not for a home theater 
but definitely something that is a floor standing beast of a speaker system with some electronic stuff incorporated in the design in the cabinet. Now onto some home theater stuff. Again, this is also built or created using AI. Look at these huge left and right floor standing drivers and the center channel is here. Plus there is some electronics like receivers and stuff and there's some ample space in these cabinets. And for some reason, AI decided to misspell net Netflix. So it is not Netflix, it is net Netflix Netflix. So uh, it did not want to do any copyright infringement, I guess, which is why it decided to misspell it. But yeah, that is a home theater, guys, with uh, this looks pretty traditional. I think this you might be able to find in a lot of places. Another variation of this, although in this one, there is a speaker here right in the center and it looks like it doesn't belong anywhere, doesn't even match the other speakers. And look at these number of drivers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it is like a four for one part and four for the other. And these two might possibly be the mid range here. And these are probably the uh, low level frequency drivers. So very capable center channel, one of the biggest I've seen today. So that is also something that is cool. And this one is Netflix, not Flix. All right, so that is cool as well. Now on to some receivers. I wanted to place the receiver with a scenery in the background. This is a very cool retro looking receiver. Not your fancy digital colorful, but this will be really analog. A lot of knobs and buttons because in the olden receivers or old equipments that you might have seen in museums and stuff, there's a lot of analog buttons. People have to adjust everything with knobs. So that's what this is. Again, very uh, retro looking, but I think it makes a lot of sense and can be used to control pretty much everything with all these knobs. I also wanted to place the receiver in the woods with some leaves and stuff to kind of show that this was abandoned but then this screen decided to light up so i don't know how it's getting power in this forest or in in the woods here but again this has knobs equal amount of knobs on both the sides and then here it has a couple of inputs for your microphone and perhaps for tuning your receiver but very good design look at this it's a flat design and the screen just blends in with the front face of the receiver. So I really like these shiny little old uh, design of the knobs as well. A different variation of the same from a different angle. The screen here is kind of embedded in the face here. Very nice looking uh, design of, of the things that are written here. So the writing is kind of lit up a little bit so people can read and they don't just pop out and be, they're not very bright as well but just the right amount of knobs well there are quite a few knobs here but this is a retro design for that so it, it's not a whole lot of lo knobs when considering that this is a retro design i love this one this is like a world war ii radio or something so another receiver that looks pretty old here or beaten up knobs and probably laying here forever for a long time there's no rust here but definitely looks like an old receiver and i hope this works because if this works this will really be something that's heavy and, and will pack a bunch now on to some more home theater stuff this is more of a traditional dolby atmos kind of setup although we are showing all the speakers at once in this design these they seem to be just for decoration but and this seemed to be like a console built in with the center speaker here and a big receiver and a relatively small screen. I wish the screen was a little bit bigger, but the floor standing speakers are huge. This will really rock this room and uh, the other speakers here used for the rear and surround. They're also pretty cool and large size. 
This is not for a home theater set, it looks like, because these are huge unless we move some of these speakers behind us. These drivers are bigger than subwoofers here, and I have no idea for this size of a room if this would even be a match. Looks like a showroom of speakers more than anything else, but if these speakers were smart, look at how well the screen blends into the wall, and there's a projector here, so everything just blends and is perfect except for these huge size of speakers some of you might like these huge speakers that go all the way up to the ceiling here i wouldn't dare to put the volume of these more than five percent i don't want to destroy my hearing but again overall the looks of this design is really cool and even the floor color kind of uh, matches or kind of blends in with the speaker color so very well thought out design now our simple black design so these are also speakers that you can find if you pay a reasonable amount of money you'll be able to find speakers that look like these pretty much floor standing speakers but this receiver just is incorporated into one of these speakers kind of look like a step here but i think this is also a nice looking contemporary modern design and now we have some very beautiful speakers in the backdrop of Alaska. So these are the Alaska mountains, some large wood speakers with a very retro old kind of receiver. So that is also something that if available to people, this would really be a good design and it would probably sound pretty good because it's solid wood construction. And something very similar this is one of those old CRT TVs, cathode ray tube TVs, if you remember those, with a receiver and some equipment on top of the TV. But the speakers are humongous. They're probably a few feet tall. They're probably four feet tall here. And again, I love the mountains in the backdrop. So decided to take it outside and put it in the sun. And let's have fun with the next one, which is on a deck. A very old receiver it has a few knobs here some display that gives out some information and the speaker the tower speakers here they're floor standing they look pretty pretty big here and they look pretty nice as well again solid wood so that is missing these days people don't make speakers with solid wood and I finally decided to incorporate uh, AV receiver design into an SUV shape. So this is not a full-size SUV. It is a smaller miniature version with an AV receiver. There are ports here, there are knobs here, there are some displays here on the SUV itself and you can even move it on wheels. So I thought why not make an SUV a receiver. I hope somebody makes this because this will sell a lot. Imagine this sitting on your console and acting as a receiver. And I think that is a very creative idea. So my friends, if you enjoyed this video, I know we had a lot of fun. This is something that takes time creating images with AI. It first of all needs creativity, patience, revisions, and takes a lot of time to edit and put this into a video. So if you appreciate the work that i do and if you had fun please give me a thumbs up because that motivates me to create even more videos for you for everything related to technology unboxings home theaters websites and whatnot please consider subscribing because that is when youtube will like me as well so that subscription helps me out a lot if you are able to do so i hope you have a wonderful day please Take care and until next time, bye bye and I will see you soon.